Here we are at the Malika Cove Library, where we are about to pull the rabbit out of the hat. The library has a long history of, of being involved with art and public art, but no, we weren't specifically um, looking for a, sculp a sculpture. What happened was that Marilyn Long contacted us and uh, she said that the foundation was interested in doing something at the library down here at the Malaga Cove Library and were we interested in perhaps exploring a sculpture. And we were really excited about it because I think it's just a really nice addition to the library and the gallery space. So it kind of went from there, but it was really at the initiative of the Long Family Foundation. When we first moved here, we wanted to be involved in the community, and I started off taking my kids to the Palace Verdes Art Center, and they took a lot of art classes, and I'm really interested in art and uh, cultural activities and PTA, and I got immersed in the community that way. That's great. And now you have, con you have contributed uh, a, a statue to Malika Cove Library that would be a permanent installation out here, is that right? Well, the library is, would you believe, this year it's 85 years old. And um, it's a, uh, it was the first library that was conceived on this peninsula in Palos Verdes Estates. And um, I wanted something fun, something um, whimsical, and the name of the piece is The Storyteller and the artist is Michael Azell. In 2008, uh, our Long Family Foundation uh, worked with the library and we presented a sculpture to the library and it was by Brad Howe, who's a renowned Los Angeles artist and uh, we had a little contest for the kids and they could name the sculpture and a seventh grader named it Balancing Knowledge. And it's a, it's a contemporary piece, but it's right in front of the Peninsula Center Library. And um, seven years later, we decided, I think Malika Cove needs a sculpture. So worked with the library and the board and Kathy Gould. And uh, subsequently, we have a new sculpture here at the Malika Cove Library. So is it uh, your calling card to uh, put sculptures together for our community? <laughs> well, that's one of the things that Marilyn really likes to do, and uh, she's also on the board of directors at the PV Art Center. And so we do like to uh, uh, put public pieces on so that the community can see it, and uh, Marilyn also and I uh, commissioned a uh, sculpture at the Botanical Garden, at the South Coast Botanical Garden as well. How did they find you? What started all this? Well, the conversation on the cell phone was she introduced herself and she said she was interested in uh, one of my sculptures and especially the fact that it had the books involved in it because uh, she was doing a project with a library. And I kind of steered her towards the storyteller, which was a brand new piece for me at that time. And uh, the storyteller actually had three books underneath them, but we did it a little bit different for the sculpture here at uh, Malaga Cove. Well, as Marilyn Long said, sculptures are free to touch, and you can do just that right here at the Malaga Cove Library with The Storyteller.